Good morning, LCF Kids. This is Pastor Wayne. I am coming to you from Kids World. All right, say it with me again. Kids World. Hopefully we'll be able to get together soon. Uh, back in this building, we'll be able to play games, have worship, uh, do all the things that we used to do together. But today, we're talking about how God helps protect our heart and our mind. All right? We're also talking about superheroes. Do you guys like superheroes? I like superheroes. Superman is my favorite superhero. But as we get ready for worship, I want you guys to push back the furniture. Because you know what? God is stronger than Superman. He's faster than the Flash. You know what? He's even stronger than the Hulk man. All right. You guys know what I'm talking about. This is an oldie but a goodie. We're going to start off our worship with Jesus, what a friend. And throughout this message, you're going to hear how Jesus is always with us, how he protects our heart and our mind. Let's get ready to worship. Grab your hand. 
Today, since we've been talking about superheroes for our lesson, we're gonna try out some superhero poses and see if you guys can guess them. You can do them at home in your bedroom while your couches are all spread out. So this first one, I think it's pretty easy. Let's see if you guys can get it. All right, that one was Superman. He's flying off. Hope you guys got that one. That one was pretty easy. We're gonna get a little bit harder as we go. So let's see if you guys can get the next one. All right, that's our super serious superhero, Batman. Hope you guys got that one. He has his ears sticking up. All right, let's see if you guys can get our next one. All right, that one was Hulk smash. He's got his big muscles going. These muscles don't compare. All right, let's see if you guys can get our next one. Ready? That one was a little bit tricky. Mario's not a superhero, but we want to throw that in one. Trick you guys a little bit. We have one more. Hope you guys get this one. It's one of my favorites. Ready? All right, that one was Wonder Woman. She is so awesome. Hope you guys had fun with our guessing game. You guys can do some more poses. There's lots more. There's Spider-Man. The Flash. <laughs> All right, let's keep learning about superheroes and how God is with us and he protects us like superheroes protect the city. Hey everyone, we only have a couple weeks left of our memory verse. Today, Addie and I are gonna compete to see who can say the memory verse the fastest and the clearest. Whoever loses is gonna get a face full of shaving cream. <laughs> All right, before we do our race, we're gonna go over it one more time. Let your light shine before others that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. Matthew 5, 16. All right, you guys ready to see our competition? Here we go. All right, do one, take a step, two, take a step, and then we'll do it. Okay, back to back. One. Two, three. Let your light shine before others that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. Matthew 5:16. Hope you guys, <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed it. And remember, our memory verse. We'll go over it one more time. Let your light shine before others that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. Matthew 5:16. All right, kids, you know every superhero has a sidekick. Superman had Lois Lane, Batman had Alfred. You know that they're out there. And this week, I asked you guys to send me a picture of your sidekicks. A lot of you guys send me pictures of your pets or your family members, people that are uh, really close to you and help you out. So sit back and relax as we look at the sidekicks for the week. Also, don't forget, look out for our challenges every Tuesday on our Facebook page. If you haven't already, like our first Facebook page and follow us on YouTube.
sunshine. It's Miss La 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 Lily, and it is time for our Bible story. We're so glad that you've joined us today. Today's Bible story is from the book of Philippians, chapter 4, verses 4 through 9, and 11 through 13. But before we talk about that, I would like to ask you, can you think of a time when you didn't have very much joy in your life? I'm going to tell you about a time that happened in our family. You see, we had little dogs. And one day, one of our doggies ran into the road and was hit by a car. And she passed away. And we were so sad. And then while we were still crying for her, our other doggy just lay down and didn't wake back up. He also passed away on the same day. We were so sad, everybody. Two of our doggies died on the same day. We didn't have very much joy that day, but I'm gonna tell you right now, we were able to remember all the beautiful times that we had with our doggies. And we still have other dogs, and so we just love them, and we're so thankful for our doggies. And I know if you've ever lost a pet or somebody that you love, it is really sad. But boys and girls, Jesus gives us joy and the strength to go even through the hardest times. So in the book of Philippians, the Apostle Paul is telling us, he says, Rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice. And the Apostle Paul tells us as well. He said, the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your heart and your mind. Now, guess where Paul was while he was writing this to us. He was in jail. He wasn't on vacation and he wasn't at home um, having a good time. No, he was in jail and he was in jail because he loved God and they locked him up for that. But boys and girls, Paul was telling us that even in the hardest places and in the hardest times, Jesus gives us joy and he protects our minds and our hearts. And that's what we're learning about today. Because you see, the Bible story reminds us that God protects our hearts and our minds. Now, if you were in jail for telling somebody that Jesus loved them, do you think that you would have joy? Well, Paul did. Because he says in verses 11 through 13, he says, I have found what it means to be content. I know that whether I'm hungry or whether I have food or whether I have a lot or a little, I have learned that I can do all things through Jesus who gives me strength. Now, boys and girls, even in the hardest of times, even in the saddest of moments, Jesus helps us because he guards our hearts and our minds. And he says that we can do all things through Jesus because he gives us the strength. Isn't that incredible? Aren't you so glad that God's message for us today is He will protect our hearts and our minds. So boys and girls, I would just like to pray with you today, right now. And we're just going to ask, Jesus, thank you that you are with us and that you protect us. You guard our hearts and you guard our minds. And Jesus, for every boy and every girl and every family right now, Jesus, whatever they are facing, whatever situation, whether it's a hard moment or a good moment or a sad moment, Jesus, thank you that you are with us and we can do all things through you because you strengthen us. Jesus, we know that you do not leave us or forsake us and we trust you with all of our lives. In Jesus' name, amen. guys had a great service. Remember, God helps protect our hearts and our minds. And as my shirt says, not today, Satan. We belong to Jesus and we're going to rejoice in him. I hope you guys have the best week you've ever had. I hope you enjoy your summer. We are missing you here at church. 
Uh, tell your parents to look for information coming as we begin to open up the building again. Also, you can follow us on Facebook. You can subscribe to us on YouTube. You can uh, even uh, look us up on Instagram. So if you guys need anything, please call the church. They can get a hold of me. Also, you can email at info at lascrucesfirst.org. We're here for you guys. and We have something going on every day of the week for kids. We got Memory Verse Monday. We got Tuesday Challenge. Those challenges are usually for you guys to send in a picture or a short video, and we include it in our Sunday service. Wednesday is our Zoom call at 7 o'clock. All right, I hope to see you there. Like I said, we're missing you. Miss Lily will be there. Sometimes Miss Deborah comes. Sometimes Mary Helen comes. We're all missing you guys, and we'd like to see you on Zoom. Thursday is story time. Uh, we have some awesome books that we're going to be reading together. Also, Friday is family worship. All this stuff is on our Facebook page or YouTube channel. God bless you guys. If you guys need prayer, please call me at the church. God bless you guys. Have a great week, and we love you guys. See you later.